So if you're still with us, our final presenter for this session is Paul, Paul Skrzypek, who is the chief multi-cloud architect at Seven Bulls, will be coming to the stage. And so Paul's talk this afternoon will deal with API for multi-cloud management platforms. So Paul, welcome to the stage. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for being uh, here. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Uh, That's great, yeah. yeah. Perfect, perfect. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, as I like said, today I want to, uh, to tell you about the, how we have used the API from the various uh, cloud providers, public cloud providers, to build the multi-cloud management platform. Uh, so as you can see, I will focus today on the usage of the API from the, from the cloud provider and uh, how we can create the middleware multi-cloud application which manages and optimize the deployment to the various uh, cloud providers. Uh, this platform called Melodic is fully open source, so you can download, use, and see how it is built and how it utilized the multi-cloud um, deployment. Uh, what is this uh, platform? Yeah, this is the single universal platform, which uh, is used for the optimized deployment and management of the application in the uh, cloud, different application, including serverless components. And it is fully built using the API exposed by the various cloud providers. And as I said, this application is fully open source. I will share the link um, uh, at the end of my presentation, how you can download and reuse that in your projects and see how the multi-cloud API is, is used. Uh, why we have built that um, platform. Uh, the first uh, way is probably it is the simplest and easiest way to use the multi-cloud approach. Yeah? So instead of the dealing with the complexity of the, each of the cloud platform, uh, we can uh, provide one unified API, which is translated to the um, API of the different cloud uh, providers. Uh, it is also a unified way to deploy virtual machines, containers, serverless components, and big data framework to the different cloud providers. The deployment is done fully automatically, so our platform is invoking the API of the selected cloud providers and deploy the application there. And one last but not least uh, thing is that the Deployment is optimized, so the use of the cloud resources is optimized. Uh, Melodic Platform knows what is the best deployment. I will tell about that uh, a little bit more um, on the next slide and deploy application in the optimized way. Uh, what is this best deployment? And the first thing which is built into the Melodic, I will show that, is the metric collections. Uh, Melodic is collecting metrics from the running application and based on that metrics uh, is able to in a flexible way to calculate the utility function for the particular application so we can compare the goodness of the given deployment to the another available deployment for that application. Uh, we can focus on the business value of the application, so these metrics could be both technical, like CPU, memory, and so on, and also business, like average time for the responding to the customer, or average time for the processing given task or job or so, and thanks to that, the deployment can be optimized on the business value, uh, because it is usually the trend yeah, we want to have the high performance, high availability, but on the other hand, we want to have the cost of the cloud deployment as low as 
possible. Yeah? Uh, of course, if we want to minimize or optimize the only one parameter, one factor, like for example, cost, uh, we want to have the minimize cost, minimum cost, then the, the simplest answer is just not to deploy the application because cost will be zero. Of course, the performance and availability will be zero as well. So that's usually we need to find the trade-off between the current cost, performance, and availability. So you can treat Melodic as your smart and thanks to the use of the multi-cloud API, uh, autonomic DevOps. So all of these operations are done automatically. And how it works. Now, first step is to model application. The application is modeled in the CAMEL cloud application uh, cloud application modeling and execution language, uh, which is probably the most complete multi-cloud language for the model, both application and uh, infrastructure. Uh, we need to set initial parameters for the application, and then Melodic is calculating the initial deployment based on the uh, initial parameters and automatically deploy the application to the selected cloud providers. Currently, Melodic is supporting three leading cloud providers so AWS, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure, as well as the OpenStack um, private and public cloud, and also some of the other cloud providers like Polish cloud providers, one step cloud. And this deployment is done, of course, automatically through the proper API exposed by the cloud provider. After the deployment of the application, Melodic is started to collect the metrics and uh, uh, and based on the value of the metrics, the decision if the reconfiguration is needed uh, is taken uh, automatically. So after that decision, the new deployment, new optimal solution is uh, uh, the Melodic is looking for the new optimal solution, and if it finds the new optimal solution, then application is automatically reconfigured. So new resources are added, some resources are removed in needed, or some of them are uh, scaled vertically or horizontally. Yeah? And everything is done automatically through the API. And how we are using this multi-cloud, so how the Melodic is built. It is built uh, in the quite pure microservice architecture. Each of the key components is a separated Docker container. We are using ESB to communicate between the components and uh, processing BPM uh, in Camunda as an orchestrator, workflow orchestrator. And we are connecting to the um, public cloud providers through the execution where. So this is our abstract layer, uh, abstract API layer, which connect directly to the, to the cloud providers. So from the user perspective, there is one API, one multi-cloud API, which is translated by the Melodic and especially this execution where part uh, to the API of the selected cloud providers. And uh, which uh, integration method we are using. We have evaluated four integration methods listed here, and we decide to use the ESB uh, with PPM. So as I presented, Enterprise Service Bus plus Business Process Management for the orchestration. Uh, we have evaluated all of this method against these requirements. Uh, all of this evaluation is described in the paper. So if you are interested, uh, uh, all of the details of that methodology are in the in this paper. We have calculated uh, uh, points for the fulfilling each of the requirements. And finally, we can choose the uh, most efficient um, integration method in our case. 
So we have decided to use the ESB Enterprise Service Bus solution with the workflow orchestrated by the BPM engine. And uh, we have evaluated three ESB solution and four BPM engines. And again, we check it against the requirements for both ESB and um, BPM. Uh, and finally, we have decided to use the uh, to use the Mule ESB in the community edition as a ESB solution. And as a BPM engine, we decide to use the Camunda also in the open source community edition. Uh, so that is more or less about the, about the architecture on the solution and few words how it works. So what are the benefits? Uh, one of the um, first user and most say, intensive user of our platform uh, is uh, AI Investments. It is a Polish startup uh, uh, which um, is uh, building uh, uh, solution for the investments portfolio optimization using advanced AI methods for the prediction and optimization. Uh, AI investments is using advanced time series forecasting method, the latest state of the art AI based uh, method for the predicting uh, uh, price of the financial asset and uh, uh, optimize the portfolio using the algorithm similar or based on the AlphaGo and AlphaStar approach by the DeepMind. And the typical goal for the for the investments is to train, for example, 50 for prediction models in one hour using as minimal number of resources as possible. And how it is done? Yeah, the operator uh, investments analyst in the AI investments starts training at first using the on-premises resources because they are the <clears throat> already there, so they are the cheapest to be used. But usually it takes too long to train the model only on the on-premises resources. So Melodic automatically add cloud resources um, in the selected cloud providers in the optimal way. Check again. If it's still too much, so Melodic adds new resources. Check the time. Continue the training. Continue the training. Uh, and after finishing the training, all of the resources, cloud resources are removed because the, the, the job has been uh, accomplished. Yeah. Uh, what are the benefits of that approach? Yeah, the first one is, of course, the effective optimization of the resource consumption, well-chosen scaling for the machine learning training, and we can optimize the work efficiency in relation to the available budget. Yeah. Uh, and one additional thing is increased reliability of the application because in case of the some cloud providers outage or uh, failure of the uh, of the on-premises resources, the worker can be deployed to another cloud provider to continue the training. And the benefits are quite significant. Uh, thanks to that, the, the over 60% of the cost savings comparing to other models. Again, all of these data are um, available and you can uh, check how it was measured and uh, if these savings are real. The second uh, more typical use case for the, uh, for the multi-cloud optimization are big data framework. Uh, here is the example of the Genome application, which is used by one of the Polish universities to compare the genome of the given person to the reference genome to find the mutation. Uh, it is the Spark big data framework uh, based application which um, yeah, 
calculate these this, uh, differences between the genomes. And again, the researcher on the university start processing the job uh, initially on the private cloud on the university, but if there are more resources needed, the additional resources are added in the uh, different cloud. Yeah, and uh, Melodic is continuously checking if uh, um, the, the, the task will accomplish in the given time frame. So this is the typical application of the, of the multi-cloud approach and Melodic. And uh, as I said, the Melodic is freely available. It is uh, uh, released under the Mozilla Public License 2.0 and you can download and use. Also, you can contribute to uh, to Melodic and to, de to, uh, to develop the, the platform. Yeah, it is uh, fully based on the open source application. And um, I think that it is also a very good example uh, how to use um, uh, multi-cloud or different cloud providers API. Uh, in, in practice, in a big uh, uh, scale application, and also as uh, you can see the, the uh, architecture is quite pure microservice application with the advanced uh, enterprise service bus and uh, BPM orchestration. So this project can be used as a, some kind of the uh, reference architecture. Uh, so that's all from my side. Uh, if you find this uh, presentation valuable, uh, you can check the Melodic website, uh, www.melodic.cloud. Uh, also, you can follow Melodic on Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn um, and Twitter. And also, if you have any question, please contact me directly. Uh, Melodic is continuously developed. Currently, we are working on the next version of Melodic, which will use some advanced concept of the proactive adaptation and polymorphic adaptation. So the, uh, the results of the adaptation will be um, even better than, uh, than currently. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the first release uh, of the next version will be published soon, probably at the end of the uh, September. Okay, so that's all from my side. If there are any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much, Paul, for that wonderful presentation. We have a few questions yeah. for you. The first one is, can you speak a little bit to the differences between the different um, cloud providers of the APIs that you know you've talked about in your session? Uh, yes. Um, yeah. The, the um, interesting thing about the different cloud providers API is that all of them are using the REST API. Yeah. So this is the similarities, but uh, this is the only one similarity probably yeah, because all of the cloud providers use different concepts, different data models, even different entities. So these APIs are, uh, let's say, very different. And of course, each of the cloud provider is constantly uh, developing the API. Uh, in different direction. So the, the only similarity is the REST API, and I can say that everything other is different between the cloud providers, especially data model. Wonderful. Thank you. So next, you know, I'm wondering if you're using a canonical model um, to, you know, to approach this work. And in addition to that, if you can speak to other models that have proven, you know, efficient in doing this kind of work, you know, to give us more of an insight, that would be great. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the one of the element of our platform. We have developed a 
common model, common model for the, all of the cloud providers yeah, to operate uh, in the same way, especially for the optimization and, uh, and automatic deployment purposes. Yeah. Uh, so we have this common model, which is translated to the given cloud provider model on the fly based on the uh, actual needs. Wonderful. Next, how do you follow API changes by cloud providers? Yeah, that's the probably the most difficult thing because uh, all of the cloud providers are um, dynamically developed their services, so the, the, the API changes. And um, each of the cloud provider uses different strategy for the API management and API versioning. So uh, it is yeah, we need to keep track on the, each of the API in the different uh, way and properly manage that. But this is the biggest challenge for developing that multi-cloud platform and keep it up to date. Thank you for that. Next question is just around roadmaps and you know thinking through a linear or maybe not so linear process for this work. And so if you could highlight, you know, some key hallmarks of a roadmap for this, what would you recommend? What what effective practices should be included um, in that roadmap? Uh, for the cloud providers uh, API using or generally speaking using the API cloud, uh, the, the, the API. Thank you so much, Paul. And so I'd like to give you an opportunity now to just once again, let people know how they can reach you, um, how they can get into contact with you um, and to be able to follow more of your wonderful work. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you can follow the work, as I said, on the presentation on the melodic.cloud uh, melodic yeah, website and also on LinkedIn and Facebook, yeah. Exactly, exactly here. Thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for your time, Paolo. It was great learning from you today. And we look forward to you know future presentations with you. Thank you very much. So thank you all for being here today. Um, it's been a wonderful series of talks. We'd like to thank all of the um, speakers who have presented today, who have elucidated so much about you know, API testing and monitoring systems. And we look forward to hearing more about your fantastic work. And so you know, before we leave the session and um, this stage, I'd just like to remind everyone that we do have our partner village where you can continue to network and learn about you know, different offerings, different opportunities, and including a raffle that's happening. So please do take some time to explore there. Also at 510, we do have closing remarks at stage one. And so please, you know, take some time to go to stage one and check that out. In the meantime, thank you all so much for your engagement and for your participation this afternoon. And we look forward to day two of the conference tomorrow. Yeah.